Now, I can hold my drink. You know what I'm saying? If I took a drink every time this son of a bitch says the word you and, like, emphasizes it, I'd be fucking dead. Okay, back with another drunk reaction. Today I'm drinking Cinnamon Fireball. Well, that's redundant, I know, but I just like saying Cinnamon Fireball. Okay, so we're on to episode two of You. And here we Tonight's the night, Pat. Our first date. Wait, did he really do a Dexter <laughs> reference tonight's the night? I, I'm looking forward to it. And I think obvious hangover side you are too. But I've read people... Well, here's the thing. If you have a hangover, you're a fucking amateur. Like, I'm just saying. Let me just go ahead and give my rules for drinking. I have really hard and fast rules for drinking. Number one, never drink two days in a row. It's just that simple. You just don't do it. Um, you got to give your body time to recover. You know, plus, I mean, you want to be getting all addicted and shit. So never drink two days in a row. Never drink outside the house. In other words, to put that another way, always drink in the house, you know. So then you don't have to worry about any drunk driving situations. And, of course, once you start drinking for the day, you ain't going nowhere. Like, that's just obvious. But, you know, clearly people do, so this has to be stated. Rule number three, drink a lot of water. Hydrate. For every glass of booze, I drink a bottle of water. I mean, you know, just stay hydrated. You know, and it, that really prevents the hangovers. Hey, they came for the big day. Want to move down to the basement? No, I'll do that. Just get started on the windows. <laughs> I mean, somebody's going down to this fucking basement sooner or later. What are you reading? This book about werewolves, the girls in my class come to stop talking about. It's more about love stuff than werewolf stuff. You know, all these attempts at social commentary are really falling kind of shallow. Like, they're trying to be commentatious, and I just don't think they're quite hitting the mark, you know? I mean, I bet that box is stankin' by now. Get out of here! Oh, this is bad. Settle down, Benji. Let's talk. Yeah, you ain't talking yourself out of this one. It's an allergy, okay? That shit is real. Gluten, dairy, if I ate a peanut, I could die. Well, oh, that's wow, not coming back, is it? Like Why would you tell your kidnapper what food could kill you? That make it look like an accident? Are you serious? This dude is a fucking idiot. I'm claustrophobic. I'm not sure uh, You got a lot of problems, dude. Homie soda. Artisanal. It's gonna blow up. Artisanal yeah. soda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Please, he's off getting shit faced. Or he's in some kind of trouble. But well, he's in trouble, all right? Just a little... I will say, I like the way they do the on screen graphics. Texting, email, that shit. It's really. It's a hard problem to solve. As a filmmaker myself, like, how do you show it? Do you have people read it out loud? Do you show a, a close up of the phone? There's no good options. This isn't perfect, but it's pretty good. What the, the solution they grew up with? I thought this date would never come, and now it feels. It's not so a date, easy. you fucking so idiot. Like, this is how. I totally didn't Google you, but if I did, I might discover you aren't on social media. Of course, he's not. In fact, it renders you insanely vulnerable with zero upside. I don't know. Like There's plenty of upside to social media. Uh, of course, him not being on social media doesn't, you know, it allows him to not be called out for being a fuckboy. Okay, yes, okay. Sarah Gamble, she produced this. Interesting. She's really good. I think she was a producer on Supernatural. To figure out what to do with the poster boy for white male privilege in a cage, I need to understand who he truly is. So, Stalker, who I thinks... I what he cares about. I mean, totally I mean we've seen what this guy Can thinks I for an episode half now. Wants to talk about somebody else's privilege. So, bottom line, you... No shit, you stole my stash. I thought it wasn't for you. Fine. You happy? It's mine. If I'm I shit. no, I can hold my drink. You know what I'm saying? If I took a drink every time this son of a bitch says the word you and like emphasizes it, I'd be fucking dead. Password. <laughs> Hell no. Behind. See, this is why I can never have a monkey on my back. Phone lock is another and I know, one. look, irony. Like, I get it, you know. I get the irony. Like, I totally get it. 
But what he's talking about right there is a fucking gorilla on his back. Fuck that. Because it makes you everybody's bitch. It would be hilarious if she, she turns out to be a psycho as well. And she's getting ready to work for Professor Hart. I just so want her to be like a sociopath, you know. I'll see you later, man. Turn the tables on this creepy hey. punk. That's now, every time I see this right motherfucker, I think about pussy lips. You know, like, if something's happened to me where, like, I'm super conscious of the word you with all this dialogue. And, like, I've seen it, like, dozens of times. Think about how often we say that just, like, in normal conversation. We don't call people by their names, so we're saying, like, you did this, you did that. You look good today. I'm touching your hand, you know? That kind of shit. You were close so sheer. I can see your nipples. What do you call that? It's crazy. You want to stay on the safe side of the boss. Are there any guys in the show that are not complete fucking tool bags? Stop the blowjob. So far, we've got three guys that have had like any meaningful lines, and they're all tool bags in different ways. I like you. Which, okay. I'm, like, I'm not like, oh my god. How dare they besmirch my gender? Like, I don't give a shit. I'm just saying, like, you know. You're There's right a bunch of douchebags in this fucking show. Something has to be done about someone like him. I don't know, man. You ain't got the room in your basement. The way I mean, it's so distracting the way they emphasize the word you. I swear it's like so distracting. Maybe it's me. I'm not saying it's the show. It could just be me. Like I've like honed in on that shit. Like, you know, just like a fucking like I've got OCD, you know? Let's see, they're not helping. And you... Wink, wink, nod, nod. Start doing jazz hands every time he says the word you. You. Know? you? Jesus, man. Oh, shit. That's not good. Why, why am I saying that's not good? See, this is how TV shows rap. They suck you in. This guy's a creepy fucking stalker. And I'm like all stressed out like, oh, that's not good. He might get caught. I'm like, good. Professor Badflip. <laughs> is this why they hired Shay Mitchell? I mean, look, don't get me wrong. She is a beautiful human being. I can't accept it. It's but this is just fucking gratuitous. Three cups. One is your brand. Own soda. It's the best, right? So prove it. Tell me which one it is. If you get this right, I'll let you out. <laughs> I don't believe you. I need a palate cleanser. Cup two. Palate cleanser. What do you think this is, motherfucker? I mean, at least swirl it around like wine, you know. Hmm. One, two, or three. I don't know. I'm going to go with two. Always put in the middle. Wait. They never want to pick the middle. None of them! Okay, they all taste like stale, cheap drugstore soda. They're not mine. They're all yours. <laughs> okay. Okay, you. <laughs> okay, you beautiful son of a bitch. That was fucking hysterical. <laughs> They're all yours. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> The reason why Peach and I are friends. Peach. Peach. Does bond you. Again, like, if you're puking, you're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong. Like, why would you drink this just to puke it up, you fucking amateur? God, I do not want to like this show, but man, it's got charm, man. Because I don't want to watch a show where the protagonist is a fucking delusional stalking douchebag, man. It's just not my thing. But there's just a charm about this show, man. It's sucking me in. Rich and hashtag carefree. Building a brand as a body positive influencer, which seems to involve <laughs> wearing a lot of free stuff. Again, there's just a lot of their social commentary is just so shallow. 
a body positive brand builder or whatever the fuck he said. It's just, I mean, anybody could have these opinions is kind of what I'm saying. Like, I haven't seen, like, a deep opinion, like, a really observational, like, you know, it's all, like, surface-level shit you see on Twitter any day of the week, man. You know, you're trying to be clever, but, you know, just not going deep enough. You read that one? It's the first one. <laughs> hey, man, those books are hard to get through. Sorry. Whoa. I need some illiterate working in my shop. Hey. Seriously? Everything you need is in there. Wow. Joseph, here you are. Holy shit. Only in New York. Yeah. And then you just talking to me again. Hmm. Casual Tom. She's on his ass. Eyes. Ross, Ross, lucky, lucky we did. did. Uh, she was on the tracks <laughs> at the time. I swear. Thank goodness for you. I mean, being in Greenpoint of all places at the very right moment. It's almost like she's on to you. To survive, you have to show some teeth. How much of him is performative? How much of this is actually real coming from him? When I say it to women. Friends. Friends. For the love of Christ. Friends? Oh, no! Not friends! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I'm okay to yell. Grown-ups do it all the time. <laughs> oh, you're breaking my heart. You're breaking so my heart, man. You, used to yell at me too. you are not responsible for my feelings. God, if you say you one more time, say you one more time, motherfucker. Like he is speeding, man. Honestly, I get how it feels. You left me here to die. You left me here to die. Trash and all those books, boy. Thousands of dollars. Man, kidnapping somebody seems like a lot of fucking work, man. Me to his ass. Like, seriously. Hi. Me to his ass. Can we, can we um, maybe discuss placing me with another advisor? It's the middle of the town. I know. Um, fucking douchebag. But it's, it's really important. I wish you the best. But I really can't, in good conscience, do that. Harvey Weinstein ass motherfucker. I guess I'm realizing I have no choice. I mean, hopefully she kills this motherfucker or something. Uh, <laughs> that's what I thought. Is. Well, it can fit in one tweet. A list of six women who have a story about you. Not hard to find and take much asking around. What's the term again? Yes! Misconduct. Anyway, they were too scared to come Get forward, this motherfucker! Ha 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 ha! Seven women with the same story. Yes! Get this motherfucker! Get him! Get him! Get this motherfucker! Get him! Get him! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Get, God, please be a sociopath. Because she's hitting all those buttons right now, man. This reminds me so much of Dexter and Dokes at the end of season two. Of Dexter. I mean, this dude wouldn't make a pimple on Dexter's ass, and he wouldn't make a pimple on Dokes' ass, but still. What is he mopping up, piss? He's right. He is enough to buy his freedom. That's very clever. He'll go away for all day for that shit, man. That is so fucking clever. I to kiss you sooner. It's not fair. How easy it is Dude, to kill Dude, she fuck. said friend. It's over, man. It's over. When a woman says friend, it's fucking over. You're done. It's good, yeah. It's <laughs> good. Always like to top off with my little ones. You know, keep the train rolling. Coming back here. Oh shit! Wait, wait, wait! wait. Hold, on, hold on, man! I was like pouring my drink. All of a sudden, they're fucking kissing. Like, what the fuck? She said, "Friend, man." Like, what the fuck? She said, "Friend." Like, what's happening here? Yeah, I saw the video.
I wonder if he's poisoned this motherfucker. You create the problem when you assume this stuff, when you treat her like trash. Oh, shit. He almost made it out. Role. He almost he's made it out, man. And the thing is, that doesn't make up for the damage you've done. Oh, shit. Sorry. Here we go. Between me and you, Benji, and I was like, I'm going to roll the dice. <laughs> Jesus I'm Christ. Sure he's going to kill this motherfucker. Oh shit! He's her. totally gonna kill this motherfucker. Calling you. I'm scared. Dude. I'm very scared of what you would do to her. Man, you didn't need to do this, man. <laughs> Jesus. Like I said, you know, why would you fucking tell him something that could kill you and make it look like an accident? You fucking idiot. Keep that yes, trophy. Man, she's gonna die. An honest man. There you go, that's dark as hell. <laughs> you know, this show is just like, it really, like I said, the writing is top notch. It really sucks you in. Because this is so, this is a kind of character I just can't relate. Like, this whole stalking shit, man, it's just, I can't fucking relate. I can't, like, for me, a lot of times women want want you to pursue them. Like, they, they, they act like they're not interested so you can pursue them. Me, it's like, once they act like they're not interested, man, I'm just, I probably have lost out on a lot of women because of this. Because, and I'm not, look, I'm not trying to make this all complicated shit. I'm just saying, it's a little, there's a little bit of a dance going on here, right? Okay. They act a little bit like they're not interested. And so you pursue them a little bit. And then, like, if they really weren't interested, then you just back up. But that's supposed to be how it goes, right? But for me, slightest amount of non-interest, I back off. I'm done. And so, like, I, I'm so, like, diametrically opposed to, like, this stalking shit. That's just the way I've been, right? I just, I'm just, there's, my point is, there's nothing more of a turnoff than when a woman's not interested in you, for me. Like, just, just, that's just such a turnoff. So, I just can't relate to this dude, which makes me not want to like this show, right? But, like, the fucking writing is so good, man. I can see why this shit took off. All right, well. That's uh, this episode. I'll see you guys next time.